Sean, thank you so much. Sean, you're an absolute legend. We'll see you tomorrow at 7.30. <laughs> they must have all gone, oh, Jesus, does she want to... They're like, she's going to have a fit on stage. <laughs> like, you're panicking. I was fucking panicking. I asked what it was that had been placed in his heinous. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's fucking food. That would wreck every single bit of your owner. <laughs> Will you watch? <laughs> It's like the weird proposal. And here we can walk you. <laughs> cut, cut. Cut, cut it again. Are you putting on makeup? Well, sorry, I'm working nine hour shift today. You're not even next to your microphone. Yo, bitches. Oh, bitches in the house, go. Jamie, why are you wearing this little fleece that, by the way, I slept in the other night and really was Again, bad. the microphone's not by your mouth. Can you guys hear me? No, well, I can hear you, yeah. Apparently at the live show, no one could hear me. My sister was like, all we can hear is Jamie. And Sophie was... I think you should start wearing headphones again so you can actually hear where your voice no, is. No, because my head's so big, they give me a headache. They Hello? move back in again? Meow. Move it out? Meow. Back in again? Meow. Out Meow. like that? Meow. Uh, yeah, you got it. Rank, 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 boy. Have you ever seen this thing? This, have you ever? I, Can you unzip the fleece? Like you're not fucking boring. Have you ever? Have you ever seen this thing? By the way, I don't know. So, someone, if you could all just Sophie. have a picture of Jamie right now, those trainers are yeah. three inches tall. He then has tie dye socks rolled down. Um, have you ever done the trick where you can taste salt? Have you ever done this? No. Okay. So what you have to do is this. So this is how you apparently can taste salt. Okay. What? I know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? You're going to make me like look like I'm sucking a dick. N Are you joking? Do you know this one? No. I, 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 why would I make you look like you're... Because I, I went to an all-girls school and hung out with all boys oh, right. at an all-boys. Do you remember when they used to go like that on your knee? What's your knee when you did that? Bit and knee? I would be like, oh! What the hell? What type of school are you going to? Kingsley. Lovely. Should we kick this podcast off, baby? Let's kick this podcast okay, off. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready. I have a feeling that the podcast today... Be epic. ...is going to be great. So do I, sister. All right, brother. You ready for this? I'm ready, brother. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nilly Wed's podcast. My name is Jamie Lang. And my name is Sophia Boo. And it is episode what, Soph? 110. <laughs> it's not. It's not 110. Ah, uh, not yet? No, uh, not yet. Uh, it's 93. <laughs> it's not uh, that. God damn it. Okay, it's... <laughs> 60 because we're nearly in a year <laughs> Sophie go home go God. home guys I feel really odd I think I'm severely have you why, no, should we get you some water can I have some water, some water. producer Jack yeah, yeah. guys Are I, you okay baby sorry yeah. you, did you want that water down there no that's got juice in it I don't think it helps oh that rhubarb one will touch the size perfectly are you sure you're okay let me I feel just a bit light headed oh no no she's off the liquor yeah <laughs> What is this? Honestly, she's like become a caricature of herself. She's off the liquor. I know. So what episode is it? Okay, so we've been doing it for a year. That's 100 and 365 days in a year. Yeah. So it must be like 363, five days. What the hell is going on? Oh my God. So you think on episode 365... Wait, wait, wait. 365 divided by seven. That's uh, what? Right. No, stop. Delete this. We're not putting this out. I don't feel well. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel well. You say it, bitch. Okay, bitch. I'll tell you. Like, okay, 365 days in a year, the yeah. seven days in a week. Divided by seven, then. I'll give a clue. We did actually talk about yeah. the episode that it was last And you, week. you think I'm going to remember that, Jack? <laughs> okay, we did. Honey, listen, it's okay. We just, you know, it's, it's been a stressful time. We've had a lot going on, baby. We've yeah, had done a, a nine to five today, and boy, hats off to you guys. We've done a nine to five, and ladies and gentlemen, we did our live show. We did it. It was great. Uh, we had a thousand people turn up to Union Chapel. If you came, thank you so much. If you didn't come, I I apologize that you 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 didn't make it. But geez, was it insane? Yeah, it was pretty pretty cool. I was I was shitting myself before it. You were really weirdly nervous for somebody who is so confident. I was so nervous. You were so nervous, you were almost rude to me. <laughs> what do you mean? I kept trying to talk to him. He was like, skedaddle off. He was like, yeah, I'm all right. Off he went into the corner. I was like, okay. I had to go. And, I, I was so nervous for the show. I had to go and sit on the loo by myself. And then someone even knocked on the door and said, who's in there? And I was like, it's me. Yeah, you looked like your face was like contorted. I was like. <laughs> contorted? No. Really? Why was it contorted? It's contorted or what? Yeah, when it's like, you know, yeah, configured. Yeah, you were, you were rude. You were like in a in a foul mood. But he told me later it was because he was worried that I was going to be terrible on it. 
Oh, no. Yes, I was, Jack, that, he that, did. No. He said, the reason I was nervous was because I thought you were, I was nervous for you because I thought you'd be bad. No, but I did not think you were going to be bad. It's okay. I Baby. was bad in the rehearsals. No, you didn't. No, no, honey, you didn't even. She rehearse. comes alive on stage. <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> she comes like Sophie. Honestly, kept saying to me, "We had no rehearsals for the show." She was like, "I'll be fine on the night," and I was like, "We don't even know what we're doing." I didn't understand. And then, honey, you came alive. Well, I didn't really, but you helped me out. How about we hear uh, your entrance, the first moment when you guys came on stage? We can hear it for the first time. Wow. So we get to hear our moment we first <gasps> came on stage? Yeah. You can really hear me. So loud. Oh my God, I'm terrifying. <laughs> Did someone do... What the... I'm demented. Did you just shout? There are so many. I then got up sta- on stage. Have you seen the videos? I stand there so awkwardly. I'm like Mr. Bean. And I stand there going, I'm not ner- nervous at all. As though I'm like a comedian. You know when comedians try and be sarcastic? Like, Sophie, just stop. Wait, I love the fact that... I also walk down in silence when you go, yeah, come on, I'm silent. Going... And then all that came out was, oh, there's so many of you. Sophie Shush. There is so many of you. There was it's one. like you're talking your mind. Well, yes, that's what I do, unfortunately. <laughs> and I think we will realise that. Can we play that one more time, that last bit? Because honestly, it's absolutely genius. I'm going, hello, hello. And you're just shouting, there's so many of you. <laughs> was I even there? <laughs> that's actual fear. That's not even like, that's actual fear. It's like Braveheart. <laughs> just, can we do it one more time with no, no one no talking? No, no more time. It gives... Last time, baby, just last time. Come on! They must have all gone, oh, Jesus. Does she want to... <laughs> They're like, she's going to have a fit on stage. like, <laughs> you I was fucking panicking. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard. There was... There was... I'm screaming <laughs> like you're trying to match me. And you just go... No, Jamie, you don't realise you went, woohoo! And I then went, woohoo! <laughs> so are me. Didn't I? Did you hear it? I was like, yeah. I, Sophie, also before we started, we were like practicing. You know, I was like, okay, so if we're going to walk on stage and we were practicing just before we got on stage and I was like, so if we're going to get on stage and I'm going to go, okay, how is everyone? And you went, how is everyone? And I, went, I just, I thought I'd have this tick where I'd just parrot Jamie and he'd be like, Sophie, how are you feeling? And I'd be like, Sophie, how are you feeling? I couldn't get it out of my mind. I was like, it's going to happen. <laughs> Can we introduce Patrick to the show? Me. Can we introduce Patrick to the show? I, I couldn't get it out my mind oh I pretty much did God. do that, that? No, you didn't. <laughs> honey honestly I just want to say this to everyone you you home run it honey sister no I didn't you I, I, I'm not just saying that you really did and, and look we got to be truthful about these things you you came off and you weren't as elated as I thought you were going to be because you were like oh I feel like I could have done that better I was like you yeah. just knocked it out the park whereas Jamie was like oh wow no, I know. It was weird because it was such a nice feeling and I just feel like I wish I'd like embraced it more. Whereas you, I was very stressed before it. You were so good. Like so funny. No so talk. natural. No, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm not just trying to say this to make you feel better or for the podcast or whatever it is. Honestly, you were phenomenal. I didn't like that compliments, but you were great too. <laughs> Why don't you like these compliments? Take no, no, it. No, move on. All right, sister. You were great too. We've All got right. another little clip. Okay, we have another little clip. Uh, is anyone here married? Do we keep this going? Is that what we're going to be like? Is anyone married? We'll be like, no, we're nearly divorced. Joke. Also, you honestly trying to be a comedian? I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Honestly, I honestly, I got on and I went. I'm not nervous at all. It's like, it's like you want to go. It's hey, like you're I'm in the literally front row. trying Where to be from? like Michael McIntyre from? or Jack White. Or like, I'm not nervous at all. Cue laughter. Ha! Ah! It's so awful. Oh, oh my God. God. So many things happened in the show that were amazing. And, and you know, we got to reminisce on it because it was so good. One of my Producer favorite Mac moments. Producer Mac came on. Producer Jack came on. Mac. <laughs> no, not Max. Producer Jack came on, uh, which was an amazing moment. One of my favorite moments was when we introduced Robbie Williams to the stage. Oh, my 
<laughs> Do you know the, but the best thing about this is it was the end of the show. We're like, okay, we want to finish it with a bang, didn't we, Sophie? We're we like, sure did. We want to finish it with a bang. And I was like, well, let's, we should get fake Robbie Williams on stage. That would be the funniest thing in the entire world. So we said to the whole audience, please welcome to the stage for one night and one night only. I can't believe I'm saying this, Mr. Robbie Williams. People started crying. Like they were so, <laughs> people were like crying. They were so excited. It was unbelievable. Robbie Williams. And then <laughs> Robbie Williams comes out and his mic's not working. So, producer, <laughs> what was that? You just... he's talking into the mic. I was like, "What the fuck's going on here?" Producer Jack, your mic. You got to turn your mic. You got to turn your mic on, Robbie. <laughs> and then everyone realised straight away that it was not Robbie Williams. I was sat with all the sound people, and they were like, "It's, it's mic's not on." They were all panicking. They're all going red. <laughs> it's hilarious. He didn't realise either. He was like, me. <laughs> How did he not hear it was going out? Um, my favourite part of the whole night was definitely you joining in with the striptease and Magic Mike, Manny. My favourite moment of the whole night? Oh, I bet I know. What is it? Todd. Oh my God, you know. Toddy boy. Toddy boy? Toddy boy. Todd. Todd. His name's Todd, yeah. To stop. Oh, sorry, honey, I apologise. That was really mean. That was mean. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to be mean. Todd uh, (laughs) was one of the listeners who was in the audience and there was an amazing moment where he decided to ask the person he was with, the girl he was with, a very big question. Um, I'm going to set an expectation. This is not a proposal. (laughs) 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 However, um, me and Eliana, we've been dating for around six months now. Um, We've been to Milan. No, Paris, sorry. We've been to to Dublin. um, And I still haven't asked her to be my girlfriend she's hinted a few times um, made it very very obvious actually uh, and well I'm, I'm off to Dubai with work at the Todd, end of the year so, oh, <laughs> ignore him Todd okay, I'm just nervous. the floor is yours okay, um, I was saying Todd to hurry up basically big gestures of her love language I guess um, and I decided to message the podcast on Monday uh, the team replied, I've been talking to the producer and things like that. Todd, Todd, um, again. <laughs> no, no, shut up. Okay. But okay, okay, I'll get to the point, but basically, <laughs> I wanted to ask you to be my girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, she hang on. Hang on, said yes, yes, hang, on said. hang on, pass the mic over. What's her name? Eliana. Eliana, get... Hold the mic and you've got to stand up. If it's, on, if it's forcing it. our guests to okay, so do things. Yes, I will. Yes! Yeah! 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 Todd! Go. Legend! <laughs> kiss! You call it kiss? Yeah! Oh my God, forcing them to kiss. Forcing them to get. I also don't remember like any of that. Like I don't even remember the, the audience being that loud. Do you know what I mean? Like it's almost like, I know what you mean. The audience was very loud. It was just so fun. The fact that we started this podcast a year ago and now we're doing a live show in front of a thousand people. That's just insane, honey. Yeah, it really was. And the audience, you guys were the absolute best. They were they were the absolute best. I know we've had our year anniversary on the podcast and things like that, but do you remember when we had Michael and Hillary Whitehorn? Yeah, the best. The best, right? The we had best. Michael and Hillary and Whitehall on the podcast. They were incredible. They were amazing. Um, apparently, uh, I promised them something. And they remembered it. I didn't remember it. And they sent me this video. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. They have just sent me this video. I'm nervous. This is from Hillary and Michael Whitehall, who came on the podcast at the very beginning. Are you ready, Mr. Whitehall? I am ready, Mrs. Whitehall. (laughs) So, Jamie and Sophie, we have had an email in because, as you know, The Wittering Whitehall starts again, Series 3, on Monday. Does it not, Mr. Whitehall? Very excited. And we've had an email in that I think is probably more up your street than ours, to be honest, because it went as follows. Um, A couple emailed in because they'd been invited to a wedding very publicly where a lot of the bride and groom's family and friends knew that these people had been invited and um, every time this couple met people they said oh see you at the wedding see you at the wedding did they not yeah um but (laughs) no invite actually ever arrived and uh, they don't quite know what to do particularly as i gather michael Mm. that this couple also mentioned the fact in their email to the wittering whitehalls at gmail.com 
that uh, their granddaughter is a flower girl. And then the weeks went by and then weeks <laughs> turned into months. And, and now in, like, they don't know what to do. No. I mean, they're, they're kind of desperate. Um, so we so... just wondered if you had any thoughts on it. I mean, the words uh, post and lost in spring to mind. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and the and protocol whereas ours within is my mice, general yeah. protocol and what you should do in a certain situation if you want didn't want to be thought of as a complete dick. Um, so, what do you think? So the thing is that we invited Hillary and Michael to our wedding on the podcast, and then we never sent them an invite. I specifically said to Jamie a million times, "We need to invite Hillary and." and Michael and, and Jamie consistently said there's no way Michael will be coming he would he would hate it I didn't think he wanted to come I honestly didn't Michael think he wanted Hillary, to come Michael and Hillary we would be honoured if you accompanied us to walk down the aisle <laughs> you're asking Michael and Hillary to walk us Michael, down the aisle will you walk <laughs> <laughs> it's like the weird proposal and Hillary can walk you <laughs> cut 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 it again cut it again I think we should right now go into our favourite part of the episode, which you know what it is, sister girl. Listener's messages. It's time for listener's messages. Thank you so much once again to all you listeners for sending in your listener's messages. As always, Sophie Habu, we love them. We love them. We love them. Anyway, we got one from an anonymous We have listener. one from anonymous, <clears throat> which says, please keep me anonymous. Ooh. I laughed so hard at the butt plug disappearing message from last week. I felt compelled to tell you about an experience I had as a newly qualified nurse five years ago. My second shift on any as a staff nurse was a rather calm Sunday afternoon when a nurse said we had a patient with a personal <coughs> problem who needed a cubicle straight away. As a naive new nurse, I accepted the handover without question and soon discovered I had a 40-year-old man lay on a side on the trolley with a very red face and his wife was sat in the chair next to him looking rather sheepish. No. I asked what brought him to A&E today and he simply pointed at his wife. He burst into laughter. I started to smirk as my sixth sense of humour was expecting a dildo stuck up his bottom. I asked what his wife had done to him and he told me, I can't tell you. I bring shame on my family name. <laughs> By this point, the wife was wheezing with laughter, unable to stand up straight. I asked if I could look, and to my horror, I saw the bum hole completely stretched with a flush green item pressed against the entrance. I asked what it was that had been placed in his anus. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's fucking huge. That would wreck every single bit of your anus. <laughs> I asked... Why? I, I asked what it was that had been placed in his anus. He replied, he replied, a fucking Granny Smith apple. I love the detail, like the green. Why? Was she going to nibble it while she was, like, for what reason? That's huge. My jaw instantly dropped to the floor and his wife was shaking her head with laughter and wheeze. That's not the best part. I said the plot thickens, please continue. He replied, she tried to pull it out and snapped the bloody oh stalk. <laughs> now it's spinning in my ass like a Catherine wheel oh. whenever I... <laughs> <laughs> it can't be wrong. That can't be real. That can't be real. How the fuck... <laughs> Oh my god! You keep re reading it. I laughed so hard I ended up having an asthma attack and was placed in the cubicle next to him. <laughs> we couldn't look at each other without laughing. He was taken to surgery later that day. I can only imagine removing the fruit was like a game of apple bobbing. <laughs> That's what I thought. But instead of water, it was an anus. He made a full recovery. A few weeks later, he brought me a thank you card to work, and inside was the sticker from the apple. I'm genius. Did I just? I, I have so many questions. Okay, give it to me. I, I'm not so, the man. That is so big. It's huge. That is so big. Like, imagine an apple going up your arsehole. Yeah, I know. It's a lot. The pain. Yeah, it's but a for lot. what reason? I Please write in and explain. I need more details. Pleasure, honey. Not an apple. That's agony. No, you put an apple up your butt. It's good. People put hamsters up their bum. A hamster's more squidgy and small. Ha apple's a big, hard oof. Oof, up there. Okay, no. baby. Why don't you give me another listener's message? Okay. Okay, guys, this is from someone who was at the live show. We didn't get to read it. Oh, okay, I love this. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you a story from when my mum and dad were initially married. Mum had gone round her in-laws with my dad to say, during the night she got up for a deadly nervous poo. 
My grandparents lived in an old Victorian villa with a faulty plumbing system, and my mum is known for her very large poos. Oh my God. <laughs> she did an almighty poo that refused to go down. In a panic, my mum looked around the bathroom and saw a pot of toothbrushes. One of them was a really old and had bristles, which were completely fat. So she proceeded to chop up the poo with the old toothbrush. The poo flushed, she disposed of the toothbrush and went back to bed. The next morning at breakfast, my grandfather stopped eating and announced, somebody has moved my toothbrush, where no. is it? My grandfather was a very strict, stern man who used to be a headmaster, so you can imagine his tone. My mum, being outspoken and not afraid of him, casually said, oh, I used it to chop up my poo. And no. Without- Without saying anything, he quickly sat down and went silent with embarrassment. Why, Why you would tell? you announce that? Why is the grandparent brushing his teeth with an old bristly toothbrush? Why would you announce that in every any way? That is horrific. That's horrific. Okay, we have another one. Uh, please keep me anonymous. Me and my girlfriend, brackets lesbians, uh, we're having sex at her parents' house. And I slapped her in the face during sex in a kinky way. <laughs> She started screaming and I thought I was doing well. But when she started crying, I realised I'd actually dislocated her jaw. <gasps> no! I was butt naked wearing a blue strap on dildo and I was literally about to run up to her parents' bedroom who I had just met for the first time that day to ask for help. But instead, because we were so drunk, she punched it back into place. No. Definitely traumatic. Can't say I slapped her in the bedroom since. Lol. Oh my upset. god! Some of the listeners, this is just the poo in the in the bum hole will still haunt me for life. The slap in the face, like I'm, I'm just unsure. Like that's just not my vibe. Oh my! Like lord. when, like a boy grabs your neck, I'm like, get the fuck off me. Who's ever grabbed your neck? No. Sorry, has someone grabbed your neck? Read on the next one, fleecy boy. All right, fleecy guy. Someone grabbed your neck. Never. You, Fleecy boy, read on the next I one. Get, the other night, I uh, went, I, Sophie was lying on top of me and I slapped her bum. Slap. And she went, oh, not there, the other place. And I went, oh my God. No, because I've got like doms on my bum. So I was like, yeah, I hit the muscle. So wait, so you just liked the muscle being hit? Oh, uh, don't talk about that. <laughs> All right, I won't get into that. Hey guys, love the podcast and wanted to share. My housemate and I came to the live show and I after luckily managing to secure some tickets the morning of. The show was hilarious and our seats were great, even sitting with Patrick and Penny at one point. Oh, hello. Shout out. Shout out. However, one thing we couldn't help but notice was the sheer height of Jamie's hilled boots. <laughs> Wondering if those are the ones for the wedding or if he's got even, high, even higher ones planned. Oh my God, these Aww. secrets. Are you, no, this His is little not, Cuban heels. Are you joking about my Cuban Show heels? Show everyone your trainers now and the insoles. And I don't have inside. insoles at all. These are my trainers. Guys, and me and my mum put them on and we were like, we're floating Honey, in the clouds. are you kidding me? No, this is unfair. Honestly, you're not floating and I don't, I wear heels. I've got this like dream where I, it, it's like a reoccurring dream when I walk up the aisle and Jamie's on a box. Just honestly... It's nice. Okay. I'm never going to be in a box. Okay, we have a... a box. We have a Propose the Pod, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and this jingle is from the live show. In the name of all podcasts, I take Nearlyweds to be my favourite podcast. I promise to propose the pod... That was uh, producer Jack doing it in his vicar outfit. He loved that moment, didn't you, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, Propose the pod this week is from Max. He says, hi, uh, so I'm in the crowd with a broken arm. I broke my forearm a week ago into seven pieces while listening to the podcast in the gym. I was doing box jumps and went for a chest high jump and unfortunately landed on the far side of the box. Oh, no. It wobbled and I fell off and landed on my arm. As I fell, all I could hear was in my ear was Jamie talking about pushing a butt plug <laughs> like an elevator button. I started laughing and screaming at the same time. The ambulance took ages to come, so once the shock settled and the pain started getting worse, I insisted on listening to the rest of the podcast on the 35-minute traffic through London to the hospital while holding my broken arm. Listen to the rest of the pod full of morphine and laughing gas, and it was funnier than ever. Max, you absolute legend and he came to the show with his brain and he came to the show with his arm Max hey thanks Max hey a big thank you to every single person who keeps writing in your listeners messages please keep writing them in 
They are so funny. We try and read all of them. And if we don't read them out on the podcast, trust me, we have them stored and saved, ready for other episodes. So please, please keep sending them to M to at Nillyweds Podcast on Instagram or contact at nillywedspodcast.com. Ain't that right, Soph? Ain't that right, sister boy. All right, sister girl. That's the end of... Listeners' messages. All right, people listening to the podcast, we have a big moment for us. Why do we have a big moment, Soph? Because our motherfucking trainer's coming in. Well, that was aggressive. Because our sweet little angel Thumbelina's coming in. Our personal trainer, Sean Stafford, is on the podcast. Sophie and I started training together, getting a wedding glow up. Well, I've done three sessions because I'm slacking a little bit, but Jamie has gone full force. I've gone full force. And I've been training with Sean for a bit. Sophie's now started training. This is all wedding glow up, getting ready, wedding fit. Because honestly, guys, I'm not, I'm going to scare you now, Soph. We no, firstly no. have 10 days until we're officially married. 10 days until we're officially married in the UK and we have about six weeks six, six weeks until our actual wedding. You guys have followed us from the very beginning of getting first pretty much engaged to now and it's been a year of all this stuff. We're getting engaged in 10 days, married in 10 days and then our wedding is six weeks. I cannot freaking wait. So the diet starts now and we decided to get Sean on the podcast to talk about wedding glow up. Sean Stafford is on the podcast. He's our trainer. Hello. Hello, Sean Stafford. Hey, guys. It's hey, the first man. time you've ever used my surname. I know. And I talking to me. I don't know why I did well, that. Well, he's quite well known, so we thought we'd give the surname a shout out. Thanks yeah. Much. Thanks L- for having me. Thanks, buddy. Listen, straight in there. We, we trained the other day I together. We did a training session and all I heard was, oh, oh no, the no back more. Of my legs, these hamstrings, oh, I go into the loo. I'm like, ah. Does it hurt that much? Well, today's the first day they're not hurting. That's about right. This bit. It was delayed onset. Dom's a delayed onset of muscle soreness. So basically, when you work so hard in the gym, Mm -hmm. you basically break down the muscle fibers, Mm -hmm. you release a lot of toxins, and that kind of stays in the muscles and creates like a residual soreness. Okay. The reason why it's delayed is it doesn't come out straight away. So you don't you, you may leave the gym feeling tired, yeah. but it's kind of 48 hours afterwards, your body will just almost go into a little bit of shock. And is that why and they hurt? Yeah, and your legs, especially your legs, yeah, you they know, were killing usually you. go into a, a bit of a, a lockdown. Oh my God. Sean makes me do these pull-ups all the time and I can't stand them. I hate pull-ups more than anything. We should surely talk you're, about... You're, you're not alone. You're, you're not the only person that hates pull-ups. I haven't quite got up to the pull-up stage. Do you think we're, these arms <laughs> have told me up? <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not there yet. What, it's, what? It's, in, it's in pre-wedding. I'm lifting 2kg, so I mean, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> you don't lift 2kg, do you? <laughs> we, hey, we've got to start somewhere, and it's it's all Am progress. I 10? No. Uh, de- depending on what exercise we're doing, but you, you're not the worst we have. You're not the worst we have. You're not the weakest. Okay. Uh, so, guess how much I bench press go? Oh, for God's sake! Probably the same size as you, but that's no. Just get go and get do get guessing kilos. Fifty kg. More. Go. Keep going. Hundred. Is this like um that yeah. game show where it's like higher, lower? Yeah, pointless. <laughs> okay, uh, ask me. Ask me how much I squat. 250 because your ass is huge. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or if I'm Jamie, his bottom is huge. Yeah, got to go. No, not 250, but I, I do like. So we should probably talk about um, where we first fell in love. Um, this About this time a year ago. You and Sean fell in love. Yeah, we oh. fell Just in love. Just low-key, yeah, low-key bromance. Yeah. So basically, I've been training Spencer for on and off for about seven years. And then when Spencer went to do Everest, he's like, don't give away my slots. Whatever yeah. you do, for the ah. month and a half I'm away, don't give away my slots. And I was like, well, if you can find somebody else to take the slots, they'll be held. And so he gave Jamie a call. Jamie said, look, we've got a, a wedding line. glow up to go on. Yeah. Let's turn you from Judge Rinder to Tinder. Yeah, we did that. And boy, did you. Yeah, yeah. it was quick as well. Oh, boy. And I think in that first six weeks when yeah, Spencer straight. was away, you completely transformed the way not not only the way you looked but the way you moved as well yeah like not talking moves, dancing just yeah. in the, well, the way that I moved. Really just his posture just his, held myself better yeah just yeah, held maybe. himself better he a couple of inches taller no yeah, that's not true. everything everything i've become shorter if no, only when he's tired this is what he tells me you guys have i told you this when jamie i sometimes you know barefoot obviously jamie has his little lifts in his shoes so when he's <laughs> in hips. shoes he's, he's a lot taller and then with flat foot no shoes and i'm like oh you're you're tiny today and he's like had a bad night's sleep last night. Yeah, it's like, true. What? 
If he's ill or had a bad night's sleep, he shrinks. Mm. But if he's healthy and had a good night's sleep, he grows. That's there we so go. Scary. Yeah, that, that is actually true though, Sophie. Honestly, if I, if I have a bad night's sleep, then I'm shorter. Sean, also, you do this. So we've been training for a year now. Now, Sophie has decided to come and join. We're joining together because we've obviously got the wedding coming up. So mm-hmm. we're getting into our real fit zone. Um, you give us something in the morning which I can only describe as liquid cocaine. I don't, I, I don't know what the hell it is. I swear my eyes, darling. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Sure, see, it does. Okay. And I come it tastes meetings. like absolute heaven. Yeah. yeah. It's called a pre-workout, yeah. right? And because That's we, what it is, the pre-workout. It's called a pre-workout, yeah. So you Why take it, obviously, it pre-workout. Yeah. Um, and because we train so early, chances are you guys haven't really had anything to eat, so your energy levels might be low. So this is kind of like a combination of like caffeine and some cayenne pepper, some aminos, that sort of stuff. Just like a really nice concoction to just mm. wake you up mentally, physically, maybe sexually. Yeah, um, it does. So that we can have a really good session at 7.30 in the morning. It's yeah. always good for the guy who doesn't drink caffeine as well. He His mouth sometimes goes, he's like, my mouth's pretty dry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you okay? For me, I'm like sweet. It doesn't even touch the yeah, it hits. It hits people different, and I think Jamie is a little bit sensitive. He's a sensitive flower. I had it the other day. Where honestly, I always go next shot. Can I have no stim? And I call it no stim. Like, no stim. No stim. No, no stimulation. No stim. I'm like no stim. He's like yeah, sure. And then the other day, he handed me this bottle. I drank it, and honestly, I was like, I, I was having a low key panic attack. <laughs> I, I know, and, I was, and then Sean would ask you a question. I just look at him, and I'm just silent. <laughs> just my whole body is trying to survive. <laughs> well, so so when so obviously Jamie and Spencer train together quite a lot in the morning, and they have different colours because Spencer can Spencer can have four double espressos. He's a mule. Like fourteen pre workouts, and then not even beast. not even alter him. Whereas Jamie can sniff half a half a tub of pre workout, and, and he's done. My God, so it's the mouth. He's like. My mouth's so dry. I'm like, what the hell have you taken? Yeah. Yeah. Completely, well, completely street legal. But it's the whole point of a pre workout is just mm. to basically allow you to raise the intensity of your training session, you know, from a physiological point of view, but from a mental point of view as well. It just gets you in the zone and allows you to push yourself pretty Honestly, hard. I feel like I can I can I can lift the world. Yeah, that's the whole point. Okay, listen, we need to talk about wedding glow up. Okay, we're getting married. It's a pretty much a month away. Yeah. We're ready for it. What if someone is going to get married and needs to have a glow? What do they need to do to get ready? There's a couple of easy wins. So the first thing you can do, if you're looking to just look a little bit better, feel a little bit better in the run up to your wedding, the low hanging fruit here is upping your hydration. Mm -hmm. So drink more. It sounds really basic, but it makes a big difference. If you drink more water, your body will be much more efficient. So for guys, it's probably nearer to three liters. And for girls, it's probably nearer to two. But if you can commit to doing that daily, it's an, wow. in, it's an instant, it's so instant fix. Surely I pee so much. You you pee a lot. You pee a yeah. lot. But that's also that's also your body detoxing. You know, that's also you getting rid of a lot of toxins in your body and a lot of things that your body doesn't really want to hold on to. Got it. Your body's 85% water. So if you are dehydrated, you're... 85% bo- yeah, water? Yeah, yeah. Like if you're slightly Ox dehydrated... Over here in case you didn't know <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> just degrees. No big deal. Um... <laughs> But if you're if you're slightly dehydrated, your performance yeah. is drastically impacted. So it's one of those things where it's such an easy fix. Drink more water. You feel better. You look better. You get leaner. Also, you get leaner. You get leaner. You're less hungry. Also, why? Yeah, because a lot of the time, people hunger gremlin or what's it called? I've no Grel- idea. Gremlin. I've no Come on, Oxford degree. Oh, Gremlin. <laughs> Gremlin. The so hunger. So I thought we were talking about a gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I did say gremlin. But I thought you, you know said how. Tom Gremlin. Was, <laughs> not Tom Gremlin. Tom Gremlin does not come out. But it's one of those things where, like. A lot of the time when people are thirsty or dehydrated, they yeah. mistake it for hunger. And so therefore they'll go and eat additional calories, which they don't necessarily need. Whereas they can drink water and it and it fills the gap. That's why you're when you're hungover, your body's dehydrated yeah. and that's why you're you're hungry. So yeah. actually all you do is down the water or the pre drip pre workout drink. Well, you can just, yeah, I think if girls aim for around two litres of water as a base guzzle, level guzzle, and guzzle. guys aim for three litres, and then if you exercise for every hour you exercise, you add a litre of water. That would be optimal hydration, give or take. I don't drink anywhere near enough water. I drink a lot yeah. of water, but no, I put you don't. squash in it. Does that, he thinks that doesn't count. He should put squash in it. That's okay. I'd say that's Get okay. out of here, Sean. No, yeah, also, also, as long as... Get out yeah, of here, a, that's a not true. Bit, a little bit of sugar, a little, little, little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt to get the electrolytes, <laughs> that sort of stuff going. And and then a little bit of flavour will help you drink it. You're giving away my secrets. Is this to absolve you of your sins? There's this delicious hummus that I get. Oh my God, it's like velvety and just fun. And <laughs> I and I get a little cracker. It is and so I, fun. It's so fun. And I get a little cracker and I... Sc- 
scoop out that hummus. You and don't like, actually, you're weird. You dip, which I find really disconcerting. Dips. The yeah, because my pet peeves, Sean, do you know what they are? Is when people shovel. Scoopers. scoopers. Oh, I'm a scooper. Yeah. What the hell is it there for? Well, do you you can, dip it. No, don't stop being a scooper. Ooh. Be a dipper. But also hummus, again, quite high, quite, 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 quite <laughs> in fact. Quite, I'm, I'm the calorie police over here. But, okay. this, but that, if we're looking at another easy bit of low-hanging fruit and the kind of the run-up to someone's yeah. body, right? Reducing your calories, being in a calorie deficit will help you lose weight, right? So even if, you know, a small thing you can do without necessarily going mm. too sort of meticulous with your calorie counting. If you just, if you're having your, your dinner on what would be a normal size plate, if yeah. you shift it a couple of weeks before your wedding, shift it to a small plate. It would what it, what it does shop. is it just is portion control. So you don't have to necessarily oh, change <laughs> change what you're eating. You just have to reduce the amount. That is and that will and that will Surely just help that you drop. is not going to work. That is not I would just I would put onto a small plate, eat it, and then go back on. and then just put more <laughs> Onto the small plate, but then, but then, but then, rather than just clearing a plate, which is what we've kind of been taught yeah. since we were knee high to a grasshopper, what you're doing is you're actually making that conscious effort to go and refill your plate, yeah. which gives you the opportunity to intuitive eating to think about, you know, do I really want this or not? So okay, it's just another area in which you can have a really easy way to reduce the amount of calories that you're eating. Got also, it. have you heard of intermittent fasting? No. Oh yeah, that's when you don't eat. No, I love breakfast. Okay. So I'm not very good at that. Well, you can. You Jamie can still... gets really like bewildered by how much how big my breakfast is. But you can still do intermittent fasting. <laughs> He's and like, having breakfast. three eggs and a whole bag of smoked salmon. I'm like, well, fuck you. Have something to eat. But all... <laughs> what are you throwing me? What An are you... apple. <laughs> a banana. That's healthy, right? Loads of good fats. You. But also, you yeah, and it's... a whole guacamole. Yeah, can I? Also... Just, you have a whole guacamole. You also cut out cabbage. Yeah, I'm really weird. I like raw cabbage, just what I have. Raw cabbage, a little bit of that. I get the holy guacamole, the yeah. whole tub, which is two avocados, yeah. <laughs> mushed, a whole packet of smoked salmon and three scrambled eggs. But then my lunch is quite smaller. Yeah. And I'm then just she hung- has a protein shake and goes on a run. <laughs> <laughs> but then what? I train with you and then I have a protein shake. <laughs> But that, but that's there's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, also, your great. goals are very different. Whereas your goals are to to rep up and and get a little bit leaner for your wedding. Yeah. Sophie's is the opposite, right? Sophie's is time to get want to get hen. Yeah, you just want to get jacked. <laughs> Sophie just wants to get jacked, which I is great. You. <laughs> She's got a wedding dress to fill out, I'll right? be able to lift you during the dances. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt you guys have already got some sort of TikTok dance yeah. planned. And oh, Sophie's, yeah. Sophie's finale is the dirty dance, <laughs> the lift, lifting up Jamie. Jamie. Mm. Well, let's work more on your neck because it's looking small at the moment. Wow. <laughs> okay. Joking, he looks phenomenal. Sean, you did a fantastic job. He's what doing about, all right. He's yeah. doing all right. Like, we're, on the, we're, on the final, we're on the final stretch. Sean, when I first started training and I, my body started to train... I walked down the stairs once topless and Sophie looked at me and went, you're sexy. There we go. Yeah. Can you, can you remember that? She did do that. I remember it. So you did? You said you look sexy at the moment. Yeah, but a lot of people think you look great. You've really changed. Sean, like, I mean... It has, it's, cha- it's, it's been a big switch it's around. It's like a real... It's quite crazy. Yeah, Your but, butt's always been enormous. I would maybe almost... People think he's had butt fillers. Yeah, I think he has as well. <laughs> but they're enormous, his butt. He's st- strong glutes. He's got I a big squat on him. I would pay for his ass. People do, people butt, do. Who thinks I've had butt filler? Well, there's a lot of filler going no, there's, a, there's a group on the dark web. There's a group on the dark web, which is like the Jamie Lang glute filler group. <laughs> I don't have butt filler. Like, what, I what? might, like, if I ever wanted a butt job, I don't know if you can get this, I'd just take a photo of Jamie's butt and be like, can I have it like that? Is that good? Mm. It's, kind, it's kind of, so when, I know when we first had our consultation, Sophie came in and was like, you know, I was like, so what, what's, what's the end game I want here? a butt like my boyfriend. Yeah, well, what's, what's the end game here? She says, I want my posture to be better. I want to walk a bit taller and I want Jamie's butt. No, you just, didn't. I was like, I want a big ass. <laughs> And I was just like, done. Well, we built Jamie's bum, so we can do sure, the same for like, you. Don't you worry. Sweet. <laughs> no problem at all. Yeah, it's okay. going to be curvy and delicious. No, I, I, so you... <laughs> Vomit, why? Curvy <laughs> and delicious. No, no, I did not mean to say that. Cut. <laughs> Cut what? <laughs> Cut that bit out. So if you just want to be curvy and delicious. No, delicious. <laughs> oh, it's almost as worse as... But it's almost as bad as the word lush, which you use quite a lot. I quite Sean, I feel like you're quite a lush. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the word lush. Spencer, Spencer uses the word lush. Uh, he uses the word delish. Yeah, delish. delish. He uses delish. He uses delish. So you're lot. telling me, Shawnee, that when I order my, I, I, I have a craving for ice cream. I had mm-hmm. this peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. Hackney, Hackney, Hackney gelato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Shout out to those guys. I honestly go through about half a pot of that. That's not a good thing. 
do you know what? As in, I'm I'm all for flexible dieting. So I think that the the best sort of plan is one that you can stick to. Mm-hmm. And as long as you factor in those, it's a bit like um, it's a bit like money, right? Treat your calories like money and your, and your bank account. Yeah. If you've got a hundred quid for the week, or you've got three and a half thousand calories a day, or whatever it is, yeah. Mm. If you can allow yourself that flexibility to have this, to still have the things that you want, chances are you're going to stick to the, stick to the plan for longer. It's going to be more successful in the long term. So allowing half a tub of Hackney gelato every week is absolutely a strategy for success. It's absolutely- It's definitely not half a tub, but I mean- yeah, no, one, no one eats half a tub. It's I eat half a tub. tub. I, uh, he eats half a tub of that one and then he dips into the chocolate and hazelnut and the half a tub is that. And if there's even a <laughs> scrape, because Jamie's a scraper, if there's a scoop from me, one scoop, he's like, you ate my ice cream. Yeah, yeah, because it's annoying because you scoop in. Scrape we, 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 Yeah, dipper, scooper. Oh my we've God. Got, we've established. I honestly don't think we should be getting married because honestly we are so <laughs> different. It's frightening. Um, <laughs> to be honest, opposites do it. From someone who's been married for quite a while, opposites do it, do work. You need, and you your need wife's to have opposites. What's her name? Sophie. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> she, she's a dipper. Whoa. She's 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 a dipper. She's she a, dipper. a dipper. She's a dipper. I'm a scooper. There we go. Yeah. It, works. Just... it works. I don't think it works. Shauna, you've been married for how many years? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen years. What's 14 the secret years. to a happy marriage? Go. Uh, do you know what? Teamwork and respect. Teamwork and respect. Couldn't agree more. I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's teamwork. Being a team. Yeah, being a team and being respectful of each other. It's the most important thing. Because also, I've been working this out to get philosophical for a second. I'm not even married. I'm going to sit up for this. Um, life is about compromises. And like, there are some things that I like and Sophie doesn't like. And same with you and your yeah. wife. And you just have to come together and, and agree things. As long as your value structure is the same. So do you know what yeah. I mean? As long as your values, when you pin them to a post, are, are kind of aligned. The day-to-day stuff doesn't really matter. You can sort it out. You learn to let stuff go. You learn to compromise. That's just teamwork. Mm. But um, as long as you still find each other sexy, as long as you still find each other funny, and you know you want to spend time with each other, your mates, yeah, it's last lovely. forever. Do you still find me sexy, Sophie? Uh, so sexy. You're going to have to stick with Sean for the rest of your life. I That's think. fine. I'm happy to do that. But just quick, do you find me sexy? So sexy. I a little fleece on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just not. <laughs> what was that do noise? you find me sexy? I love coloured socks and trainers. There's nothing about me. My mum tried Jamie's trainers on in the house. She's like, whoa! I've put on a pair of heels. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly. Like, Sarah, Sarah honest. with the low key. Yeah, yeah. Sarah oh, with the low key. I dag. Like, yeah. put them on and I'm like, I'm. 10 foot tall. No, it's because they got a spring in them because I run in them. So we got hydration, great tip. Yeah. Portion control, great tip. Give me another great wedding tip. So intermittent fasting, which we talked about earlier, mm. which is, it's not necessarily missing breakfast. It's just shrinking your feeding window. Yeah. So what it does is it means that you fast for 16 hours of the day. Uh-huh. It helps if eight of those are you're, you're asleep and then you eat within that eight hour window. So do you do that? I do do it. Yeah. So I skip, yeah. I skip breakfast. I have greens and burn, but the picante juice oh, yeah. um, in the morning and then I won't eat till lunchtime. And all it does is it, it makes managing your calories in a smaller window. So it means that you're not really that hungry. And it also Starling. does a lot of physiological things. So like it will help boost your growth factors. It all, yeah. it, there's been a lot of research that it helps. Growth boost, factors. Helps your digestive system. It helps digestive system. It, it helps your energy levels. But it also, if, if you don't have to worry about eating all the time, it mm-hmm. saves you time also. But if you've got a, a smaller window in which you're eating, chances are you're going to eat a little bit less. So it's, it's going to be easier for you to stick to that calorie deficit long term. That's so, totally wrong for me. So th- if I have a small window, I nail it. But that's okay. As long as you, so if you've got you 2000 crazy. calories in a day, yeah. yeah. if you're spreading that out over the time you're awake from the moment you wake up at seven, you're eating breakfast and the moment you go to bed at night is seven or, or have your last meal at seven or eight o'clock at night. That's 13 mm. hours. Chances are you're going to overeat within that. If you condense it to eight, Chances are those meals are going to be bigger. They're going to fill you up a bit more. And, mm. and calorie-wise, you're probably still just about scraping into your calorie allowance for the day. Okay. So it's just another strategy that might make it yeah. easier God. for people to lose weight. Do you know what? Wedding is just stressful. It costs money. You, there's problems around it. And then you have to just worry about what you're eating. Well, you don't, you don't have to worry about what you're eating. So in, when, it comes to, when it comes to weddings, like one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen both brides and grooms make mm. is they get so stressed about the wedding day and how they look and how they want to diet, 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 train, mm. train, train, that they go too far and they regret it. And they end up not looking like themselves. Exactly. So like they look back at the photos of the big day and they're thinking, do you know what? That, that doesn't really look like me. Mm. 
And so they, they kind of regret going so far. Also, as you guys all know, you know, you've got a suit made and you've got a wedding dress made. And if you, yeah. and if you go too far and you have to factor in last minute adjustments to the dress or to the suit, it just uh, adds yeah. more stress to the table, right? Producer Jack and I went and tried on my suit last episode and uh, it, was a, it was a little bit big for me. We anyway, talking about upper body, right? Upper body, it was too big for you. It was just it was upper body. It was <laughs> the trousers. It, the trousers, trousers were too long. The trousers and were they too were long. Splitting on the bottom. <laughs> the trousers were just too long. That's what yeah. it was. So actually, I've shrunk. So that's not I'm tired. It's okay. I, I am a little. You're, bit tired. you're getting married shirtless anyway, right? Yeah, that's I, that's the whole Spence point of this. Spencer's definitely coming shirtless. Spencer has said that he. Firstly, I had to tell Spencer today that he's not uh, officiating the wedding. Spencer Matthews, who also trains with Sean with me, thought that he was marrying us. I said. Did ask him I was going to say that, that I've been in the room when you've said that he is the one married. Thank you, Sean. This uh, is he's classic, not. Jamie. No, he's not. I told him to. I said, "You're not married." You're... How did he take it? He he, he was surprised, <laughs> and and then I've, he... se- I've seen his ser- his sermon. It's he's... good. Spencer's he's not marrying us. There's no freaking way. He married ways. them. It's only he's not fair. marrying us. And then secondly, he said he's going to turn up in a body painted tux. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> The whole thing's shocking. Okay, Shawnee, listen. Um, by the way, do you know Sean was uh, a, a world champion bodybuilder? I can only imagine. Yeah. It was a former life. Do you know I it was 10 years ago? Was it 10 years ago? 10 years ago. Is you... that when you met Sophie? No, I met Sophie in They've been married 20, 14 years. years. I met Sophie nearly 20 years ago. We were, wow. yeah, 21. I was 21. She was 22. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh. Young love. Young love. Babe. Hey, listen, so, Shawnee, um, before you go, I thought we could do a fun little thing where you give us a quick little quiz. Great. And we're going to put ourselves in a funny sort of uh, position where we're going to see if we can hold it. It's going to be a competition between you and I, so. Oh, not plank. Oh, can we do a squat? It's, it's not plank. It's a wall set. Oh, it's a wall oh, set. Oh, I'm in. All right, boom, I'm in too. So we're going to do a little quiz on the wall set. You ready for this? Born ready. I'm born <laughs> ready, baby. All right, so what we're going to need you to do is drop down into a wall set. So hit those quads down to 90 degrees. It? Sophie's in the perfect position. Jamie, feet forward a little oh, bit. Oh, oh my God, sit back, sit back. I okay. already need a wing and that's not helping. <laughs> I actually, okay, I'll I fire. don't think I can do it, Sean. I can't do it. I can, Come on, I'll, quickly. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, we're going to fire questions. Ask the question, Sean. Okay. You all get lower, bitch. How many calories, <laughs> how many calories in a gram of protein? Uh, uh, 250. Um, 115. How many calories in one gram of uh, protein? One. One. No. Two. Ten. <laughs> Fifteen. Five. Ah! Five. Ah! Five. Ah! Ten. Fifteen grams of ca- protein is like 115 Cat grams. Protein. So okay. fifteen. Uh, okay. The I answer- can't do this wrong. Okay, the answer's up. four. Right. Go. What, what muscle groups do you primarily work in a squat? Quats. Quats. I can't do it. Sophie, oh. Oh, so oh, I could keep Sophie, going. Sophie's the winner. That was oh my high. god, that is the worst thing I've ever done in my Are you life. Joking? All right, round two. Oh my okay, god. so Sophie wins round one. Right. I can't do that. Sophie wins round one. Best of three. I've got the worst head rush I've ever had in my life. Yeah, okay. I'm really right, ready for round two. Are you ready for I round two? Do Get down right. into it. Jamie, come on. Not doing it properly. She is. She's bang on. Let's her go. Jamie, drop in. It's like a shelf or something. Uh, like yeah, because it is a shelf. Sorry. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, get down get into the down, squat. Get down, pussy. No, that's fine. Get. I'm not missing. Jamie, come on, come on. You're faking it. Come on. Come on, shake them out, shake them out, out, shake okay. them out, river dance. Count of two. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three. Right, three, two, two, one, squat down. Lower. Okay. You're not in to, really to the nearest kilo. How much does a fully grown honey badger weigh? Oh come on, uh, Sean. Forty-five kilos. No. Twenty-five. No. Uh, Eighteen. Sixty-eight. No. Thirty-two. Hundred and ten. Uh, uh, Twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Ten. Twenty-five. Twenty. Ten. Ah, oh. I can't do anymore. Yes, oh, I will. Oh. It's one all. No, sorry, I thought the game was over. Okay, so Jamie won. Okay, so now it's one apiece. We have oh, one. We have one final round. We have one final round. Okay. okay. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay. Yeah, right. Who is better in bed, Jamie Me. or Spencer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, almost as Spencer. Well, yeah. Why okay. would that be confusing? Who... <laughs> then you slept with Spencer. I don't really who, understand. That. Who is the most likely to jump in front of a bullet for the other person? So, me for me. Hundred percent. Okay, Jamie. Okay, and last one. How many calories are in a gram of fat? Oh fuck, Sean, I don't know. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Two. God, no, it was six. nine. Oh. I'm sorry to say, but Jamie that is the, is worst thing the I've winner. Ever done. Do you know what that? Honestly, that would be like that would be torture. I, I am also quite light, but I do have a bit of heart and light head. <laughs> Sean. Thank you so much. Sean, you're an absolute legend. We'll see you tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Thank you for coming on uh, Nearly Webs. 
Um, you're a great friend. <laughs> and I can't squat anymore. You're a great friend and you're a hero and you're the greatest. Lots of love. Lots See you tomorrow love, 7.30. See you tomorrow at 7.30 with my grandma fat. Oh my God, my legs. Oh my God, my legs. No, honey, my legs. Oof, my butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was your butt sore? Because it was squats. You were obviously not doing it right. It's on your legs, not your butt. No, it was on your glutes as well. Okay, all right. Well, I did not realize that. My legs are knackered. I can't, I actually really enjoy training with you. Yeah, so did I actually. It was really fun. You were like, choo, choo, choo. hey, I love you, girl. Love you, boy. Oh. No, stop. I feel like I'm. <laughs> okay, honestly, listen. Hey, uh, listen, what we like to do uh, at the end of the podcast is do our wedding favor. And this week's wedding favor is this was back in the day from Amelia who said this, get this as a wedding tradition in Spain. It's a Spanish wedding tradition. Mm. We write letters to each other. Love it. So whatever we want to say, we love, hate, want to have sex, whatever it is. Want to have sex. I don't know. We write lovely letters to each <laughs> yeah, other about yeah, yeah. everything. We don't ever read them. We put them in a, a, we go and get a bottle of wine at the same time, put it in a case, nail the case shut with the letters inside of it, wait 10 years, open it up, read the letters to each other and drink the bottle of wine. It's a Spanish tradition. But what if we're not together in 10 years? What? Jokes. No, we will be. Sorry, that was... Obviously, we're going to be together. But what if the wine is corked? Uh, I mean, delicious, I... delicious. I can't <laughs> wait. It, 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 I can't it, wait. It's the greatest ever wedding tradition ever. And where do we store the box? In, in the our do- cellar. I don't know. Anywhere. <laughs> We've got to get a house with a cellar. Honestly, the wedding favour was so exciting. No, and then I'm it's... so excited. That's lovely, Amelia. Yeah, Sorry. it's unbelievable. That wedding favour is amazing. If you are getting married or you are married or you're getting engaged, definitely do that wedding favour. That is unbelievable. Unreal. I can't wait. I'm going to write the most gorgeous letter I'm to you. I'm writing it tonight. Are you really? Yeah. What are you going to start it with? Dear Jamie. Ah, <laughs> how traditional. <laughs> I like it. What are you going to end it with? I love you always. Okay. I'm going to write it saying, Sophie, if you're reading this, I am not alive. What the fuck? <laughs> She's actually crying. She actually got upset at that. That does make me upset. I don't like to think of that. Oh, honey. No, honey. Shush, shush, shush. Okay, well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say a big thank you to every single person who keeps writing in all your listeners' messages and keeps listening to this podcast. We love them. We love you guys so much. Remember, beyond. Yeah, beyond. And remember, you can keep writing in your listeners' message to at Nillyweds Podcast on Instagram. You can send us an email, contact at nillywedspodcast.com. We really want to hear from you. Um, hey, can we have some more voice notes and some pictures? I love to put a face to a name. Oh, so pictures and voice notes? Not of butt plugs and butts or Granny Smith apples and butts either, but of your faces. Just all the stuff. And remember, you can keep them anonymous. Also, remember, we're on TikTok and YouTube if you want to go and check those out. All right, everybody. Remember, if you're getting engaged... Good luck. If you're married... Go get it. If you're thinking about getting engaged... Don't do it. If, you, if you're... If you, you're... You, you're if you're divorced... Get, if you're divorced... If you're divorced... If you're divorced... You win. If you're... <laughs> what? If you're single... <laughs> You rock. <laughs> How? God. And if you are about to get married in 10 days. I love you. I love you too. See you everyone next week on Monday. As always, goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye.